Right, hello everyone. Today we show you how to use the logic sim function in order to construct a uh, combinatorial uh, logic circuit. So let's assume we have a uh, circuit with two input x and y, and we try to uh, construct a circuit that uh, have the output f function equal one when x equals zero, 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 one, or one, one. Okay, you can see right here. Uh, from the two table of the uh, circuit and uh, f equals 0 when x equals 1 and y equals 0 okay so there are many ways in order to construct this uh, combinatorial uh, uh, circuit uh, one of the uh, uh, way uh, using uh, the uh, representation in terms of some uh, some of the products uh, for example uh, look at the two table where the f function equal 1 right here you can see that uh, now you can write down the f function i equal uh, the first term right here equal i not y not uh, or with the uh, i not y because uh, in this one i equal 0 y equal 1 so we have the i not y and we all with the last term right here i in y equal uh, 1 so we have the i and y so uh, once you once you have the um, some products of uh, uh, representation of the f function now you can construct the uh, circuit based on this one however um, I, I would like to show you a, a better way or the faster way using the logic sim um, function to construct the circuit okay so uh, first of all we gonna a uh, start the uh, logic sim and we have the uh, workspace so in order to doing that um, we gonna have the um, the uh, open the project and then we gonna go with the analysis circuit okay so uh, once you open that one you can see now we can uh, identify the input uh, now we assume the input gonna be i and we add and we have the y and then we add okay so now we uh, add two input section y now we identify or uh, uh, we specify the output gonna be f and right here right so once you identify specify the inputs and output um, you can construct the two table for that function so we knowing that uh, based on the uh, two table we had before right here so we say that f equal 1 when uh, x is equal 0 0 0 1 and 1 1 and the other uh, when x equal 1 and uh, y equals 0 f equal 0 okay so we can specify gonna be 1 one zero and one okay so that the uh, way in order to change the value just click the mouse into the location the f function they can change the value okay um now you can see the expression of the uh, f function that can be uh, simplified based on the two table we just specify uh, in the previous step so you can see that f now equal i not or with y Okay, we also can see the K-map uh, to simplify that expression in terms of some products. Um, so we can see that we can group uh, up the X and Y based on this one right here, gonna be represented by H0, and uh, this group right here represented by Y, gonna be um, by Y, okay? So once you uh, have uh, that uh, uh, specification now you can use in the build circuit right here in order to build the uh, combinatorial uh, uh, circuit where it take two inputs x and y and also construct the circuit to produce the output of uh, 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 specify uh, by uh, or uh, meet the requirement of the app okay so we can build and now we have the uh, many um, uh, so option right here so you can use the two input gate only or you can use the uh, NAND gate only so that uh, we know in that the NAND gate gonna be the uh, universal gate so we can construct any uh, circuit based on um, uh, combinatory uh, circuit based on the NAND gate okay so um, let's just leave it uh, uh, unchecked and we can also uh, change the name right here so just uh, okay um yes and right here you can see that um now basically you can uh, see that the uh, circuit app right here have been constructed based on the um the the uh, choose table we specified be, uh, before so you can see that there's two input x and y uh, the output f function gonna be a uh, uh, specified by the two table we had before so basically you can see that 
Now you can see that the uh, Um, yeah, the uh, two table we have right here when x and y equals 0 or uh, 0 1 and 1 1 the output can be equal 1 and 1 0 the output f equals 0 okay so uh, let, uh, let let's see is that the um, the, the uh, function f is correct or not so 0 0 is output equal um, 1 um, 1 0 uh, equal 0 um, 0 1 equal 1 and 1 1 equal 1 so the operation of the constructed circuit uh, uh, working uh, accordingly to the truth table specified in the first step so um, you also can um, um, increase the number of a uh, input variable as well so for example uh, we want to construct a more complicated circuit uh, where we have a additional input now item z you can add it in and uh, we still have the same output now we need to specify the choose table differently so assume we want to construct a, a combinatorial um, circuit with the f function equal one uh, right here <coughs> excuse me uh, when uh, i equal zero and um, the uh, value f, f equal one when x y z equal one one zero or one 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 okay so now you can see the um, function can uh, simplify that function as well. Uh, it's the same as the i naught and y. Uh, to make it more interesting, we can change the value right here. For example, uh, we can uh, change the value right here and see what the expression now the expression is more complicated okay uh, we can see the uh, k map representation right here how many group we can uh, combine together so we have the two group right here this one represented by i naught and this one right here represented by y naught z okay so you can use this one to construct the new circuit where the number of variable now is the uh, uh, xyz and the output f gonna be specified by this two table right here if um, we can um, uh, using the same and then we can uh, replace this one and now you can see that uh, the new uh, function f right here have been constructed based on the truth table we specify right here that equal 1 uh, for uh, i equal 0 and 1 when i equal 1 and y equal 0 when i equal uh, 1 okay so um, you can see right here the, uh, the the circuit or the combinatorial circuit have been constructed based on the uh, truth table with specify right here. So uh, that's pretty uh, handy tool where we can specify uh, the uh, truth table or uh, the inputs, output, and then the uh, the, the software kind of analyzing the uh, component and also we can uh, construct the according uh, uh, circuit uh, based on the truth table with specify. Uh, we also can uh, build the function with some specific requirement of the NAND for example. So now we need to use all of the, um, of the component right here that's the NAND gate. Um, yes, now you can see that now we can replace the uh, invert function with the NAND gate and uh, every component right here uh, using only the NAND gate. Okay, so that's pretty uh, pretty uh, good and handy tool that help you to design a, a larger or more complicated um, uh, circuit uh, based on the truth table we specify. So um, I hope that uh, video uh, helpful and uh, next one we're gonna talk about the uh, how to construct the uh, sequential uh, logic circuit, for example, the counter, and also we design some of the, uh, for example, simple alarm system where we use the logic scheme uh, to, uh, to to satisfy or to uh, or meet some of the requirements of the system. Okay, I gotta see you guys in the next video.